sorry. I don't, I don't need anybody to cover my shift. I'm just running a few minutes late. I just have to make Finn dinner and then I'll be there, I promise. I, I know, I, I, she's just so unpredictable. I don't know why she does this. I, I, know it's, I know it's a full service tonight. I'm sorry. Oh, I gotta go. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for babysitting, Finn. I don't sure. know why my mother canceled last minute like that. I don't know what she was thinking. Seriously, you are a lifesaver. I'm gonna take 10% off your rent next month. Uh, actually, that's what I needed to talk to you about. You see, I, I have to move out. Okay, uh, when? Tomorrow. What? Oh, I know, I know, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What happened? Uh, my dad, he's, he's really sick and I, you know, I just found out today. Oh, Beth, I'm so sorry. Well, my mom's not around, and my brother's certainly not going to help. So, I, you know, I gotta go back to Seattle and take care of him. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's my dad. You know what I mean? Of course. Anyway, so I, I know this incredibly short notice, and you know, I know how much you need this extra income. Don't worry about us. Well, so I put an ad online for you to find a replacement roommate. What? Why? I, I just felt guilty, so I wanted to help. You didn't need to do that, really. Uh, could you please take it down? Okay. Th this is my apartment. I'll do my own ad. I'm sorry. Oh, God, do you hate me? Oh, gosh. No, so no, sorry. of course not. I'm just... No. I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. I'm gonna miss having you around here. We'll both miss you. I'll, I'll definitely miss you both. Um, could you just do me one little favor? Mm-hmm. Don't say anything to Finn until tomorrow. He gets really attached to people, and I know he's gonna be upset. I want to be here for that. Okay. okay. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Um, all right. I will be back around midnight. Could you just please make sure he does his homework? I'll try. Yeah. Pizza? Yeah. Let's do that. All right, ladies, I have a rum and coke for you. And they said, well, can I get you anything else? All right, enjoy your meal. Honey, surprise. Mother. What are you doing here? I'm on a date. He's just gone to the bathroom. His name is George. He's an architect. We've been chatting online for about a week now, but this is our first IRL. He'll be back in a minute, and you can say hi. I don't want to say hi. Oh, so this is why you canceled watching Finn? Yes, I know. I'm sorry. But George is a busy man, and this was the only night he had until next month. So I hope you don't mind. I wanted to show off my beautiful, independent daughter working in one of the best restaurants in the city. Oh, which reminds me. Your father wants the two of us to meet him for dinner tomorrow night. He has something important to tell us. Hopefully, he wants another divorce, just to make sure. <laughs> well, why couldn't he have called me himself? I'm a grown woman. Miss? Oh, I'll be right there. Right. Listen, as fun as this is, I'm gonna ask one of the other waiters to serve you. What? Have a wonderful evening, Mother. Allie? Hello, welcome. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for everything. It's been our pleasure. You've been the perfect roommate. <laughs> Whoever comes next is gonna have big shoes to fill. Now you find someone quick. Oh. Oh, buddy. I'm gonna miss you. 
You'll be good. Don't worry about him. He'll be fine. You just get him safe and give my love to your dad. Thanks again. Good luck, Beth. Travel safe. How was the date with George last night? Oh, I have already wiped that guy from my memory. Do you know what he told me after we ordered dessert? He already has two wives. What? And if I play my cards right, I can be wife number three. <laughs> it's not funny. He told me online he was a polygamist, but well, I thought that many could write with both hands. <laughs> oh, who would want to live like that? It's bad enough being married to your father for 25 years. Can you imagine three of him? Where is he? Oh, he's in the bar waiting for us. What are you doing standing out here? Well, I thought if you and I went in together, we would outnumber him. You know, we have the power. People wonder why I'm messed up. What's that? Nothing. Come on, mother. All right. Whew. Thank you, Marches. My little girl, how are you? I'm fine, Dad. But less with the little girl, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Lillian, don't you look spectacular? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lyndon. <clears throat> Would you like some wine? No, no thank you. So, how's Finn? He's great. Well, who's babysitting tonight? He's with David this weekend. Oh, right. And how are things with you and David? Uh, well, we smile and say hello to each other when he comes and picks it up, so that's progress, I guess. But you can tell me more about how David is doing, seeing as how you still see him every day at work. As I've told you before, I can't fire him just because he divorced my daughter. There's laws about that kind of thing. Not that I would want to anyways. He's one of the best agents we have. That's just great. Yeah, look, it's been almost two years now, Allie. I think you should move on. David has. I met his new girlfriend the other night. She's actually lovely. Oh, that's sweet. No doubt at one of your lavish work parties, right? It could be you at those parties, remember? I did offer you that job first, so. Well, I didn't want my father as my boss, and I don't know anything about sports. You don't need to know about sports to be a sports agent. You just need to know about money. Well, money bores me more than sports. Oh, all right, please. Round one over. Back to your corners, both of you. Take a breath. So, what is this big news? We're on the edge of our seats. And not just because both of us want to leave. <clears throat> I'm getting married. <clears throat> oh, you're serious? Very. How? When did this happen? We met about four months ago at an award ceremony. Four months ago? Don't you think that's a little quick? Why wait? I'm not getting any younger. Also, that's why the wedding's in four weeks. And I would love for the both of you to be there. Hi. Yes, please. I would like more of this. No, 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 no. This is Sophia. <laughs> My fiance. Hi, honey. Hi. Sorry, I was in the restroom. Nice to meet both of you ladies. Can I help you? Oh, sorry. I was just taking some photos. Trash. Well, <laughs> yeah, I guess you could look at that and see trash, but I see more than that. I mean, that's the real world right there, you know? Not some filtered reality that we live in. You know, most people would just glance at that and walk right past it, but I don't know. There's a strange melancholic beauty to it, don't you think? Yeah, I just see trash outside of my building, so 
I'm gonna pick it up. Is your name Allie by any chance? It depends on who's asking. Hi, uh, my name's Ronan. I'm, I'm here about the ad for renting the room. What's that? Uh, nothing. So, did you call me or leave me a message? No, um, I just got into town a couple days ago. I'm staying at a hotel a, a few blocks away, and, but I don't really like hotels. They're just so cold and lifeless. So I saw the ad about renting a room, and, and I thought I'd come by and say hi. Yeah, it's so, just that most people, like, you know, call first. Yeah, I just, I don't really do phones. I'm much better face-to-face. -face. Okay, well, it's just that I'm, I'm really busy, so if you'd have called, I, I could have made an appointment for you to come see the room. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'll call you? Yeah, yeah, that, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Uh-huh, bye. Ronan. Is this a good time? Your number was on the ad. Sorry, I, I thought that would be funnier than it was. Listen, Ronan, I'm, I'm just really not comfortable with... Look, I'm looking for a female roommate, okay? I get it. You know, a strange guy shows up out of the blue. It's a big city. But you give me one chance? One last chance. Hey, Mom. Listen, I need your help. Okay. What do you need? I I'm trying to rent an apartment, but you know what these East Coast people are like. They don't trust anyone, so... Could you give me a quick character reference for me? Sure. Hurry up, though. Jeopardy's coming on. Hello. Hi. Don't worry. My Ronan is a good boy. He's kind, he's clean, and reliable. Sure, he talks too much, but he has a heart of gold. Okay, well... Thanks. I have some cute baby pictures of him actually. Okay, that's enough. Thanks, Mom. So? I I guess you can come inside and take a look at the place. Okay. So, this is my apartment. This is awesome. Is it? I'm getting really good vibes already. Okay. Who's this guy? That is my son, Finn. He lives here too, but he's with his dad at the moment. Cool. Looks like a happy kid. Uh, come on, let me show you to your room. So this is how the last tenant left it. Obviously, if you take the room, you can do whatever you want with it. I love it. This is perfect. When can I move in? Whoa, 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 slow down there, Chief. I don't know anything about you. Okay. Fire away. What do you do? I'm an artist. For work. Art? Paint, mostly. Oh. Why don't we do this? Why don't we do, like, a three-month trial just to see if it works out for both of us? Thanks. It sounds great. I promise you won't regret it. Hey. What is it? I really need to get to work. What is it? What is it? Look at me. I've been crying all day. I can't eat. I barely had any sleep. Why? Your father! Shh! Calm down. Are you telling me that his little announcement last night had no effect on you at all? You mean the fact that my father is marrying somebody three years younger than me? Look, I'll be honest, Mom, in the long list of embarrassing things you and he have done in my life, this doesn't even make the top five. Well, I'm very disturbed by it. I mean, what was the man thinking? Has he no shame? It's so embarrassing and cliched. He's an old man, for God's sake. I'm not going to that wedding by myself to see him marry someone half his age while everyone else is looking at me thinking, oh, that poor, lonely old woman. Don't you think you're overreacting slightly? No, I don't. This is an actual living nightmare. But it's going to be okay. 
You know why? Why? Because Mama's got a plan. I don't like the sound of that. You and I are gonna get dates for each other for the wedding. What? Why am I involved? Because, sweetheart, as much as it kills me to say it, your father was right about one thing. You need to move on. You've been divorced for two years. It's time you started having some fun. I... I have fun. When? When was the last time you had any fun? Exactly. This will be good for the both of us. Plus, you always say I go for the wrong man. This time, you get to choose one for me. This is how it's gonna happen. You're gonna go undercover using my profile on the dating apps to set up dates. But when they arrive, you'll be sitting there. You'll interview them for me. Uh, you'll feel them out. I'll do the same thing for you. We'll be like each other's representatives. What do you think? I think I need to get to work. And I think you need some sleep. Mom, this is the craziest idea I've ever heard, even for you. I'm not interested. Bye, Mom. Oh, Allie, wait. Think about it. Morning. Oh my. Sleep well? Uh, no, not really. Um, I didn't realize I'd let the entire New York Philharmonic move in too. I'm sorry. You could hear that? Yeah. Maybe get some headphones? Totally. Um, my son's gonna be home soon, and I would really rather the first thing that he see not be a naked stranger in the apartment, so. Okay, uh, absolutely. I'll, I'll put a shirt on. And, and one more thing. You like it? It's supposed to bring growth and prosperity to the home. It's a really nice gesture. You can do anything that you want to your bedroom, but the rest of the apartment is just how I like it. Um, I'm sorry, I know that sounds... Uptight? <laughs> well... Not at all. Hey, buddy. My name's Ronan. I'm your new roommate. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Finn's staff. Oh. He says it's nice to meet you. Likewise, dude. Right. Well, I'm heading out. You guys, uh... Have a great day. Bye.
Mom. Let's do it. Why did I agree to this? Because it's fun, remember? And it's nice for us to do fun things together. Most mothers and daughters bond at the beauty spa. They don't do this. Well, I don't need a beauty spa. You can't improve on perfection. And besides, isn't it interesting? No, it's weird. And, and the more that I think about it, it might even be illegal. What are you talking about? Us pretending to be each other online and then ambushing these poor men in person. It could be fraud or, or, or entrapment. At the very least, it's deception. Oh, will you relax? Think of it as a social experiment. Is your relative better suited to find you a partner? I think it's fascinating. I wrote about it online and one of my followers, a journalist, well, he thought it was a fabulous idea. He might even do a story on it. Great, because I would hate for this humiliating woman in my life to go unnoticed by millions of people. And why are we so dressed up? We're not even going on real dates. That is no reason not to make an effort to look nice when you leave the house. You should try it more often. Harry? Yes? Um... Sorry, do I know you? Not exactly. I, I have a confession to make. I'm Lillian. Uh, well, my, my mom is Lillian. I, I've been using her profile to set up this date with you. Okay. So... Prepare to have your mind blown. <laughs> you thought you were talking with Allie, but actually you've been messaging me, her mother, the whole time. I'm here to decide if you are worthy enough to date my daughter or not. Welcome to the mother-daughter date swap experiment. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's it? You're not surprised? I guess so. All right. So, tell me some more about yourself, Miles. <laughs> Something interesting. Thirty six years we were married. That is a long time. Mm -hmm. Childhood sweethearts. Oh. Well, we were more like best friends. Still are. We talk every day. That's so nice. Mm. And now I'm single and out on the town and having new and exciting adventures. Like meeting you. Thank you. Merci. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That is heaven on a glass. <laughs> so, Allie, tell me more about your mom. She sounds fabulous. <laughs> That's one word that we could use to describe her. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Funny work stories. Well, let me think. Then he and my mom got a divorce about 10 years ago and she got this enormous payout in the settlement and she's just been partying ever since. Harry. I'm sorry. I'm listening. Can I ask you a personal question? Yes, go ahead, yes. Do you think that 
You might be more interested in men. What? Why, why would you ask that? Well, you've been checking that guy out ever since I sat down, and if I'm not mistaken, he is flirting right no, back with you. I, you know, I, I, that's... He is? Yes. Do you think that this could be a new and exciting adventure for you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. I have to admit, that was kind of fun. <laughs> well, good for you. I got stuck with the most boring man on the planet. <laughs> so, you're not going to give me his number then, are you? Um, not unless you're having trouble sleeping. <laughs> How was yours? <sighs> he was really sweet. I think you guys could be good friends, but he's just pursuing other avenues right now. <sighs> Better luck next time. <laughs> Back at you. <laughs> Good night, babe. Good night, Mom. Oh, I love you. Love you, too. I was just brightening up the room. The green was a little stifling, so I figured I'd paint it white and have a blank canvas and go from there. What's the problem? What's the pro His clothes are ruined! You realize that, right? I'm sorry, I, I can pay for... I'm not asking for your money. I I'm wondering why you thought this was okay to do in the first place. You said I could do whatever I wanted with the room. Move the furniture around, not not paint the walls. You're not even here permanently. We agreed on a three month... Actually, you know what? This isn't working for me. I would like you to please pack your things and leave. Tomorrow morning. I'm going, I'm going. Just, just wait a minute. I may have slightly overreacted last night. I get it from my mother. No, it's cool. I shouldn't have done that without asking you first. Well, that is true, but I have to admit it was nice to see Finn having fun. Even though it was completely insane, irresponsible, and reckless. Fun. So, if you want to, why don't we just stick to the three month trial? Thanks. But we have to have some house rules. Okay. No more walking around here naked. I mean, I wasn't actually naked. No more late night symphonies. I already got the headphones. No more covering my child in paint. That's fair. And definitely no more wind chimes. I can live with that. I'm gonna take you guys out to breakfast to apologize. My treat. Okay. Crap fan. I love that place. Seriously, it might have been the best breakfast I've ever had. Well, when you've lived in the city your whole life, you get to know some of the great little hidden spots. So, where are you taking us now? Actually, right here. A wall? You see a wall. I see a blank canvas. And in life, there's nothing better than a blank canvas. Fresh start. Endless possibilities. He wants to know why we're standing here, and actually so do I. I'm going to paint it. I get paid to paint public murals in different cities. That's why I'm here. 
Actually, I'm quite a bit following online. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Thank you. What did he say? He asked you if you could teach him. Painting? Sure. No, you really don't have to. I one condition, though. You show me around the city. I want the real city, not the fake touristy postcard stuff. You said it yourself. You know this place better than anyone. Yes, he can teach you. Also, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> wow, Fred. Easy, Tiger. So where are you meeting him? Romano's. A restaurant? Oh, never pass up a free meal, darling. There's no such thing as a free meal, mother. <laughs> and where are you meeting my future ex-husband? The park. The park? If his idea of a romantic first date is sitting in the park, you can cross him off the list already. See? That's your problem. You are so quick to judge. Maybe he's organized a beautiful moonlit picnic with flowers and champagne. All right, all right. Point taken. <laughs> See, you're starting to enjoy this. I am not. Okay, just a little. <laughs> I, I have to admit, it was strangely liberating to pretend to be you online. <laughs> I just realized how much therapy I'm going to need after saying that out loud. Oh, and you even dressed up a bit. And is that makeup I see? Well, you know what's happening, darling. Nope. It's inevitable, sweetheart. Don't say it. You're turning into your mother. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Fred? Uh, yes? Hi. Uh, I'm, I'm Allie. I'm Lillian's daughter. Oh, it, is she okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's fine. Um, it's just... My mom and I do this thing where we try to find each other's suitable partners, so... It's actually me you've been chatting with online. I know it's weird, and I totally understand if you want to leave. Uh, no, no, um... Uh, so it's kind of like a, a job interview? Yeah, 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 kind of. Oh, okay, um... Well, I'm a little embarrassed. Yeah, I mean, I, I... I bought flowers. Oh, no, no, don't be. I'll, I'll take them to her. She loves flowers, so... Actually, you're off to a great start. Uh, um... Uh, so, what do we do now? Well, we just do whatever you were planning on doing. And, and I get to know you a little bit better. All right. Um, well, I was thinking we could uh, take a walk through the park. And then, as a surprise, I, I booked us a table at a restaurant. That's perfect. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. It's my favorite little Italian place. Uh, Romano's? <laughs> So, Johnny, what exactly is it that you do? I guess you could say I'm an, an online personality. Uh, and that's a job now? It is when you have over two million followers. Wow. How did you do that? I had a couple of videos that went viral. You know, pranking people in the city, that kind of stuff. It just caught fire from there. Are you okay? What? Oh, yes, I'm fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, sorry. Old habits.
so let's get back to your daughter. Uh, are you too close? Actually, right now we're very close. Uh, so, uh, tell me about your mom. Uh, what would you like to know? Uh, how old is she? She's 66. <coughs> She's 63. <coughs> She's in her late 50s. Do you want some water? Uh, no, just a little risotto got stuck. Oh, and why did your parents get a divorce, if you don't mind my asking? Oh, no, no, not at all. It was a lot of things, really. I think the final nail in the coffin was when my dad had an affair with my mom's best friend. <laughs> Never a dull moment. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so clumsy. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Um, I just need to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I think I recognize you. You it. really like this place, don't you? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. It brings back a lot of memories. My wife and I used to come here all the... I'm sorry. We've been apart for a long while, but it... It still hurts. It's okay. I mean, don't, don't apologize. Do you... Do you want my napkin too? <laughs> Guys, you are not gonna believe this. I am totally being catfished right now by some crazy old woman. Hey! Don't say that about her. You're the one I was talking to online. You give me your phone. Is your name really Allie? You're giving me your phone. Give me that. 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 This is my mom, Lillian. Lillian, this is Fred. I... Listen, I, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but this is all a little bit too weird for me. I, I'm sorry. That man spent 30 years running into burning buildings, and we scared him off. He's right, Mom. This is nuts. You're nuts. I'm out. Allie. These were for you. Allie. Good morning. Is it? What are you doing right now? Uh, well, I just dropped Ben off at school, and I was gonna go back to bed because I got about eight minutes of sleep last night. I've got a better plan. You're gonna get up, and we're gonna go out, and you're gonna show me around the city. Right now. Right now. We made a deal, remember? <sighs> All right. I know where we're gonna go first. Shopping's right here. Yeah, I like to come up here when it's quiet in the morning. Hey, Tony. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I will just take the usual, please. Up two. I'm right up. You're gonna love this coffee. It's really good. We'll see. It's very close to the house too. There you go. Thank awesome. you. Excellent. I got this. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank right. you. Keep the change, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Whoa. I told you. <laughs> This is fantastic. Bless you, much. I've traveled all over this country, and this is probably one of the best cups of coffee I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thanks. Okay. Oh, how long you lived here? Born and raised, my friend. My uh, parents moved here from Italy back in the 70s. Okay. Yeah, my pops, he taught me how to make authentic Italian coffee. Not like that junk you get in the soulless corporate joints. You ever think about opening up your own shop? Oh, man, I'm trying. Yeah, but going against the big boys, it's not easy. But I'm not giving up. That's the spirit. That's what I'm looking for in the city. 
Do you mind if I take a couple photos? Yeah, go ahead. I'm so sorry, Tony. He's from California. Oh, no, no problem at all. I always said I was going to be famous one day. <laughs> there you go. Well, what about you two? Are you, are you dating or something? <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. We're just... Friends. Roommates. Right. Well, you look like a good-looking couple. That's all I'm saying. Thank you, Tony. Come on, let's go. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Uh, next, how you doing? I just love guys like Tony. What? You love him? What's wrong with that? You've met him one time. Yeah, and I probably learned more about him today than you had the last hundred times you got coffee from him. Yeah, and if I have to admit, that was kind of embarrassing. Not embarrassing for who? He didn't seem embarrassed. I definitely wasn't embarrassed. So that just leaves... You know, you throw that word around a lot. Like, I, I, I love this, I love that, I love, I love this bench. What's wrong with this bench? It's just a bench. <sighs> no, first of all, it's not just a bench, all right? Right now, this bench is the setting for our sparkling conversation. This bench has a whole life and a history of its own. Imagine the, how many people have slept on this bench or had lunch on this bench or their first kiss marriage proposal on this bench, you know? Nothing is ever just anything. It's a very mean thing to say. I think you should apologize to the bench. You're kidding. <laughs> You're serious. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, I'm sorry, bench. Just apologize to a bench. I mean, come on. Ah, let's get this over with. So let me get this straight. You and your mom switched dating app profiles so you could help find each other a date to your dad's wedding? That was the plan, but after last night, I'm done with all of it. Why, what happened? Well, the guy that I was talking to started crying and I was publicly humiliated in front of millions of people. That's a bad day. Why can't you just go to the wedding by yourself? It's... You know, actually, just wait right here a minute. I need to grab a few things. I'll be right back. Great. That's great. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Allie, do you know Joe's been running the store since before I was born? Word of advice, maybe don't take people's pictures without asking them first. People are a little bit more uptight around here. Yeah, I noticed. What, what is that supposed to mean? Nothing, just a vibe I've been picking up on lately. You people and your vibes. <laughs> what does that even mean? I swear it must be all that sunshine on the West Coast. It boils your brains. <laughs> Seriously, isn't it exhausting? What? Just being so happy all the time. No, I mean, life's short. You gotta enjoy every moment. But you can't be happy all the time. There's gotta be something that makes you sad. Come on, what is it? Oh, cool. You want to dance? No. Come on. I don't dance. Come on, come on, come I on. I can't. All right, we lost. Madame, we care to dance.
Oh, I'm gonna get a lobster. Mm -hmm. And maybe a bottle of shipping. Hi, sweetheart. Hello, father. You remember Sophia, don't you? <laughs> Hi. Yes, of course. We went to school together. You were in the year below me, right? <laughs> don't worry, honey. It's just my daughter's attempt at humor. Humor. F. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence. Of all the restaurants in this city you could have chosen. Not uh, really. Your mother told me I could find you here. Couldn't you just call? I try calling, just don't pick up. I'm sorry, the last few weeks have been pretty eventful. Well, now that I have your attention, I want to ask you something. Oh, goody. It would mean a lot to me, to both of us, yeah. if you would uh, say a few words at the wedding as my only child. Please. What do you want me to say? Just say anything you want to say about me. Well, no, I don't want to ruin anyone's day. <laughs> But it will literally be just a few words. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and I'm presuming you don't need a plus one. Why do you presume that? Oh, I just thought that it's in two weeks' time, and you hadn't mentioned anybody that you were going to bring to the wedding. Actually, Dad, I, I do need a plus one. Because I am seeing someone. Well, that's great. Yeah. Well, who is it? Um, he's just this really handsome, reliable, successful guy with, with great teeth. Okay, <laughs> well, I look forward to meeting him. <laughs> Me too. Mom? Experiment's back on. I'm Lillian, Allie's mom. May I have a seat? Oh, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> I imagine you're wondering what's going on. Well. Hi. 
You know something? You're not gonna believe this, but I knew there was something weird going on. Really? Yes, when, when I was messaging Allie, or thought I was messaging Allie, I kept getting this feeling I was talking to someone more mature. Well, I don't know about that. She is far more mature than me. <laughs> no, it, it's more like a confidence in the way you spoke. I guess with age comes a freedom to just be who you are and not care what anyone thinks. Oh, absolutely. That's why I've always loved being around people who are older than me. They're so much more open, honest, and easy to talk to. Oh. Back to my daughter, Allie. Right, yes. Uh, tell me all about her. This is awesome. I thought you might like it. Love it. The old bar stools, sticky floors, paint peeling off the wall. Literally, it looks like this place has not been remodeled in 50 years. I can literally smell the memories. That's bleach. <laughs> can I get a beer, please? Thank you. Angry bartender as well. Let me guess. You love him. I, I do. I love him. I love this. This is exactly the kind of vibe I was looking for. Well, that's why I invited you here. Cheers. Thank you. I thought you invited me here because I was auditioning to date your mom. Um, I mean, you, you can if you want to. Maybe I do. What's she like? Is she cute? I mean, she must be. She made you. Sorry. That <laughs> slipped. Please forget I said that. It's sorry, forgotten. Um, that's Derek Dominguez. You like baseball? No, I can't stand baseball. I hate all sports, but my dad's his agent. Your dad's Derek Dominguez's agent? Mm hmm. Your dad must be... Rich, yeah. But you are... Broke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, how'd that happen? I'm in the bathroom. I guess I should ask you some questions if, to see if you and my mom are going to be a good match. Yeah, go ahead. Ever been married? Nope. Long-term relationships in my job don't really mix. I never stay in one place very long. What about kids? You want to settle down? I really like a home. I've never really had one. I was adopted when I was five months old. I never met my real parents. That lady that you talked to the other day on the phone, she adopted me and her and her husband were great parents. Don't get me wrong, they were great. They've been the best parents anybody could ask for. It's just a strange thing about being adopted. It's like you never feel comfortable anywhere. So I think that's why I've always been moving around place to place, looking for that home I've never had. Congratulations, you found something that makes me sad. Oh. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it's, to. I'm, I'm kidding. Oh, my turn. What? If I'm gonna be your stepdad <laughs> one day, I <laughs> need to know a little bit more about you. That is a terrifying thought. <laughs> Come on, I just gave you my whole sob story. What about your dad? It's complicated. I'm an only child. And... 
My whole life, I feel like he wished I was a boy. It's like I've been this 35 year long disappointment to him. He was always trying to get me interested in sports. He was signing me up for Little League even though I was terrible. Making me watch football over Thanksgiving, you know, even as an adult. He got me a job at his agency, which by the way, I didn't deserve and I was completely unqualified for. He just, he couldn't understand why I turned him down. Why I don't want his money. But it's, it's because I want my own life. You understand. And, and I'll know that everything I get will be because I earned it. I just want Finn to grow up and be proud of his mom. But my dad, sometimes he just makes me want to scream. <laughs> so do it. What? Scream. Oh, I, I can't. Come on, you gotta get that stuff out of your system. Seriously, I do it all the time. Come on. Come on, come on, you gotta let it out. Ronan! Come on! I can't. <laughs> Look at, there's no one around. Seriously, you can't hold it in, you gotta let it go. Ah! <laughs> oh, that, what was that? You lose control, you gotta let it go, come on. All right, feel better? Actually, yeah. Are you all okay? Oh my god. Yes! I'm so sorry, I'm fine. You said there wasn't anybody around. Except for them. Oh. I don't I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, sorry. Friends, right? Roommates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh. Oh, well, that's good news. Yeah. Well, don't you just look gorgeous. Thanks. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. You know, I have an outfit just like that. You really are turning into me. Well, no, I'm really gonna be sick. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> it's a lot less nerve wracking when I could pretend to be you online. Just relax. Mike's a great guy. We're gonna have a fabulous time. <laughs> uh, thanks, Mom. Oh. I'm sorry we didn't find you somebody. Oh, please. I'm sure there'll be plenty of single hunky sportsmen at the wedding anyway. <laughs> I can't wait to meet this new roommate. Finn seems to love him. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm worried about. What do you mean? Nothing. I gotta go. Please don't forget his homework. Honey, I know it's hard to believe because of my youthful good looks, but I am actually his grandmother, okay? I know what I'm doing. Now go, have fun, and give Mike my love. Well, I mean, you know, tell him I said hi. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Allie. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I'm I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Don't worry. So am I. Turns out I'm a lot more comfortable at being the matchmaker than being the match. Shall we sit down? Oh uh, yes. <laughs> sorry. <sighs> wow. I can really see the likeness. 
with, with your mom, I mean. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and hope that's a compliment. It is. Your mom is very beautiful, and now I can see where she gets it from. Or uh, where, where you get it from, I guess. Hey, I, I saw you on that, uh, that new Johnny Zane video in the restaurant. <laughs> that was hilarious. I haven't seen it. Oh, well, it's right here on my phone. If no, I... no, thanks. <clears throat> uh, so, Mike, one of the rules of our little experiment was that my mom couldn't tell me anything about you. So what do you do? Uh, I work in advertising. Oh, yeah? Have you heard of MKMC? Should I have? No, it's just... It's one of the largest ad agencies in the city. That's cool. So you work there? I, uh... Own it. Wow. I'm the MK. Mike Kennedy. Hi. Impressive. So, would you have done any ads that I would have seen? Well, we just did the new campaign for Captain Jack's. My son loves that cereal. <laughs> Wait! So you did the ad? Ahoy me mateys, it's time we relax, so drop the anchor and, and pass, pass the, the Captain, Captain Jack's <laughs> <laughs> Hi. So, this must be the new mysterious roommate. And you must be Allie's sister? Ha! Allie warned me about your silver tongue. Really? Mm, but she forgot to mention just how cute you were. <laughs> Great. Ooh. <laughs> yes, nice. <laughs> oh, Allie! <clears throat> what? Well, Ronan asked if he could take a photograph of me, and I was just giving him some options. <laughs> she has an awesome vibe. Oh, oh she's definitely got something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, come on, how did it go? It was nice. He's nice. <laughs> nice? I find you the most eligible man in America and you tell me he's nice? Okay, he was more than that. He was great. <laughs> he was an Adonis. That's excellent work, Mother. Are, are you happy now? No. <laughs> are you gonna invite him to the wedding? Um. I don't know, it was a first date. It felt like it might be a bit much, but you know, we're going out again in the next few days, so if it goes well, then maybe. That's great. Yeah, great. Great. So then, I guess my work is done here. Thanks, Mom. It was my pleasure, sweetheart. And Ronan, it was lovely to meet you. <laughs> you too. <clears throat> Toodles, darlings. Bye, Mom. I was about to make Finnegrill cheese. Do you want one? 
Before you answer, you should know that I've been voted best grilled cheese maker in 49 states, and I just need this last one to complete the set. Sure. Why not? Coming right up. And he said... Thank you, right? I'm picking it up slowly. How do you say you're welcome? No, that's oh. that's how you sign your welcome. I <laughs> got it. Nailed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said he already finished his homework. Is that true? <laughs> oh, I love that kid. Sorry, I mean, I like that kid. I think he likes you too. And honestly, that's what worries me. Why? He gets really attached to people, and then when they leave, he gets hurt, and I have to pick up the pieces. Well, I'm not planning on leaving anytime soon. I like it here. Oh, those for me? What? <laughs> oh, um, I'm looking for, does Allie live here? Yeah, she lives with me. Oh, okay. Uh, she didn't mention that. Really? Well, um, sorry. I'll just, nice to meet you. just checking to see if we were still seeing each other today. You met who? Hey. Hey! Whoa. What are you doing? Ah, uh, working. With Mike. That, that was a misunderstanding. Why would you tell him that we're together? I didn't. I just didn't tell him we're not. What? It's no big deal. Just chill. Don't tell me to chill. Why are you so upset? Because this might be a fun little sightseeing tour for you, Ronan, but this is my actual life. Do you understand what that means? Yeah, but you're being- No, I don't think you do understand. I don't think you understand the effect that your actions have on other people. You, you think that you could just float around the country Painting pictures, taking photos, spreading your positive vibe without any consequences. What about you? What about me? You're acting like nothing happened the other night when you know I have feelings for you. Ronan, you have feelings for trash that you find on the street. Your feelings, your feelings are meaningless. I know you feel something too. I know you do. You don't know anything about me. You've been in my life for three weeks now and you're telling me how I feel? I'm the working mom of a deaf child. That's real life. I need somebody solid and reliable and mentally ready to take that on. Not some drifter who could just disappear to another state at the drop of a hat to paint some stupid wall. I actually got offered a job in Canada. I was going to turn it down. Why? So I could stay here. Be with you. Take the job. I don't think it's a good idea for you to be in the apartment anymore. Okay. I'll have everything going by Saturday. I'll be out by the time you get back from the wedding.
So. Uh, yeah. Um, pretty much all packed up. I just got to do a few more things, and my flight's at 8.30. Okay. Uh, we could just leave the keys on the table. Yeah. I feel horrible. Well, he's getting used to it. Can you promise him I'll come visit sometime? I'm not gonna do that. I better, um... Of course. Hi, everyone. Don't get excited. I'm not one to make speeches, so I'll make this short. I want to thank everybody for coming out today. I know a lot of you traveled to be here, and we appreciate that. Without a doubt, this is the happiest day of my life. Something I always say to my clients is never forget how lucky you are to play the sport you love for a living. Now, I realize today that I'm very lucky because this gorgeous woman has agreed to spend the rest of her life with me. The rest of your life. I love you, Sophia. I love you, too. OK, 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 that's, that's, that's enough for me. Next up is my uh, daughter, Allie, who I'm sure has nothing but nice things to say about me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everybody. So, uh, yes, I, I am his daughter and not Sophia's older sister, as some of you may have thought. <laughs> but seriously, uh, I am thrilled to be here. And I am sure that the pair of you are going to have a lifetime of happiness together. I'm sorry. I, um, I can't, I can't say those things. Those are meaningless words that you're supposed to say at times like this, but, but it's not the truth. The truth is, is that I, I don't know if they'll be together and happy forever. <laughs> I, I hope that they will be, but that's not how most of these things work out. I, I, I thought my mom and my dad would be, I thought my ex-husband and I would be, 
But, but that's not reality. Reality is painful and, and uncomfortable and heartbreaking and, and we make mistakes and we hurt each other. And it can be really hard to forgive, like really hard. But you have to try, especially when it's family. You have to talk to each other and, and be honest about your feelings. And, and the truth is, I'm not thrilled to be here. I didn't even want to come. My dad and I, we don't have a great relationship. My entire life, I have felt like a failure to him. And I'm realizing that I've never talked to him about that. And maybe I just made that up inside my head and I, and I let it fester and I kept it inside instead of talking to him about it. But that's the really beautiful thing about life. It's never too late to start again. Every day is a blank canvas. I'm sorry, Dad. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> All right, now let's party. Sweetheart, are you having fun? Okay. We're not gonna do this anymore, Mother. It's ridiculous. What is? Clearly you're in love with Mike. What? No, I'm not. It's okay, Mom. I'm not angry. And I'm pretty sure he feels the same way about you, too. You think so? He hasn't stopped staring at you all day. But this is crazy. I can't. He's young enough to be my son. And after all the things I said about your father and Sophia. It's pretty funny if you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> but what about you? Ugh, I'll be fine. Mike's a good guy, but you know, I just, I didn't feel that spark. Well, doesn't this go against the rules of the experiment? We made the rules, we can break them. Oh, honey. Oh, mom. Listen, if I end up like you, I'll be more than happy. <laughs> well, darling, there's only one of me. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Allie, I love you. I love you too, Mom. Hey, uh, I was just getting a drink. Mike, there's been a change to the rules of the experiment. You are now my mom's date to the wedding. I'm what? Let's be honest, you already were. You've barely said two words to me today. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You're a really good guy, but I think we could be friends, but I think there might be something really special there. Really? What makes you say that? Let's just say it's a vibe I'm feeling. <laughs> Go get her, buddy. And be nice to her or, or I'll kill you. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs>
mind if I sit down? Go ahead. Know who I am? You're Derek Dominguez. Do you know who I am? <laughs> You're that woman from the Johnny Zane video. That was funny. I'm your agent's daughter, and I don't think he'd be too happy if he knew that you were flirting with me. Actually, he'd send me over here. Did he? Well, listen, as sweet and as creepy as this is, I was actually enjoying sitting by myself, so I'm gonna excuse myself, but it was nice to meet you, Derek. Not a problem. Sorry, Kim Soy. Wow, that really looks like you. <laughs> Whoever's doing that must be incredibly talented. How did you? Well, I was at the airport, about to board the plane, when I got a text message from a friend of mine saying you could use some company. You know him? Good kid. Very talented. He is. So, this is what you were drawing at the bar. You made my nose too big. <laughs> Sorry. I love it. Love? It's just a napkin. No, it's not. So, does that mean you're flying out tomorrow? I think I might stay in the city. What about your job? You don't need to fly all over the world to be an artist. It's just something I convinced myself so I could keep searching for a place to call home. But I think I realized that home's not a place. It's people. I think you might be my whole Mally. If you want. All right, all right. All couples to the dance floor. It's slow sometime. Shall we? You know I don't dance. <laughs> oh, live a little. We can work on it. Was that okay? We can work on it. 